Hello, this is Keith Hall, and in today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to create a radial blur drop shadow effect. So what you can see on the screen, there's like a, uh, a little drop shadow on both ends of this uh, image, and it looks a blurry, and that's just the effect that we're going to learn how to create. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete this layer and show you how I did that. So basically, all I did was create a new layer or a shape layer is what I'm going to use. There's many other ways that you could do this. I'm just going to show you how to do this with a rectangle tool. And basically, I'm going to draw the shape initially above the image. So I'm going to select the rectangle tool. And I'm just going to draw it just slightly larger. And the uh, shape was automatically filled with black because that is my foreground color. So I'm going to press enter. Now I'm going to use the transform tool to warp this shape. So after I press control T, which is a shortcut key on the PC, they enter the free transform mode and then up here on the options uh, bar I'm going to choose the warp option. So basically all I'm going to do is I'm going to use my cursor to drag this middle area up and then uh, press enter and then I'm going to Let's see, transform it slightly. Just like that. I'm going to press enter. Now I'm going to go up to filter, blur, radio blur. It's asking me if I want to convert it to a smart object or rasterize it. I'm going to choose rasterize. Uh, you could also choose convert to smart object. Now um, it's going to ask you how much blur that you want to uh, add to this particular layer. I'm just going to choose 15. You can play around with the amount and of course play around with the blur method and the quality uh, down here. I'm just going to use the default press OK and as you can see it creates a blur effect around this particular layer now I'm gonna choose the move tool I'm gonna slightly move it downwards and then I'm gonna move this layer behind the image And now, all you have to do is play around with the opacity of this layer to get the effect that you want. So I'm going to turn down the opacity slightly. Just like that. And that is how you can create a radio blur drop shadow effect in Photoshop. Again, there are other ways that you could do this. Um, uh, Learn to be creative in Photoshop. Learn all the tools that you can uh, to create the effects that you want. I want to thank you for stopping by today. Uh, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And click on that bell notification so you always get updated when a new video is uploaded. And of course, please like, share, and comment on my videos. Because it does help out the community. helps out other people searching for new ideas for their projects and um, ask questions if you want a uh, different tutorial in the future drop a comment and i'll be uh, glad to look into it for you thanks again for stopping by i'll see you on the next video bye now